I'm Anna Grace Taylor and welcome to your weekly angel reading for June 21st through to the 27th. I'm going to be using the Angel Wisdom Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine, so let's see what the angels have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. Ooh, love this card as we are in the solstice, the beginning of this powerful week. A windfall of abundance, wise counsel or good fortune, an exciting career opportunity, a lucrative contract, significant purchases like a home or vehicle. So this is the one of earth, the ace of earth, a new beginning, especially in our material lives. Not necessarily, I feel, a great day to sign contracts because we're still in Mercury retrograde until tomorrow and we'll experience the shadow a little bit for a few days. But this does suggest that this solstice point, the midpoint of the year, is a new beginning and really to open our arms and our hearts to the opportunities, to the abundance being given to us right now. And this little girl is walking a new path. I see it as the yellow brick road. Don't necessarily need to know exactly where it's headed, but it is really good. So this is a great sign as we celebrate the solstice today, summer or winter, depending on where you are in the world. But a really beautiful time to focus our intention on what those new beginnings look like for us. What are we welcoming into our lives? What intention do we really have for ourselves, our communities, and our wider community and really allowing ourselves to move ahead on our path, okay? Beautiful, beautiful energy for the solstice. Oh, I love this card because although it says slightly differently, um, it's a very similar message because this is the six of air and it says the end of challenging times, things are looking up, a welcome relief, finding your way to peaceful place, the end of depression or illness or travel or relocation. So there does feel real energy of us moving away from the old in some form. If things have been challenging for you, this is the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, if you are really looking forward to the second half of the year, this is saying you're going to feel even better than you have done. This can, as it says, be a physical journey as well. So it may be that you can start to plan to be away from your home in a different way than you have probably for a year or so because of the pandemic. So this is another confirmation that this week really heralds the start of brighter, lighter times to come for us. Whether we're in the summer or the winter, we are literally welcoming the light. So yay for that! Oh, interesting though, because with the six of air, after that comes the five of air, so slightly back to the challenge. But this to me actually is just a great reminder that moving forward is the name of the game right now. We don't want to look back and we want to just be really aware of the choices that we are making as we head into the weekend because it says an unwise choice, there's a better way that will make you happier, avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. So having moved forward or said that you want a new experience through the week, don't suddenly then go backwards and go, oh yeah, but that's really comfortable or, oh, it doesn't matter, you know, it's okay if I don't completely trust that person or I don't trust that instinct or that situation, I'll just go back to it anyway. Uh-uh, no, stay on that new path, don't go backwards, don't go into something that you know is out of integrity because you'll only have to deal with it later. So part of that new beginning is really setting boundaries about who and what you will accept into your life. I feel like that's a really key message right now. And if you think about the sunshine within us, our solar plexus, that's all about our power and our light. And in order for us to really step into our power, we have to really choose who and what deserves our time and attention. And the angels are just reminding us to just be really wary of anyone who doesn't, okay? 
So, much, much love to you all. I am going to, start, oh, my book's over here. So I'm gonna just get my book to read you a message from my book, Messages of Grace, 111 Notes of Love and Guidance from Your Angels. Let's see what the message is here. Oh, interesting. This, this message has come up a couple of times, so obviously needs repeating. Um, it says, love does not hurt. Love is love, it does not hurt. Your circumstances, the choices you or another make may cause pain, but love itself doesn't hurt. If you are doubtful about your relationship or are being hurt in any way, love yourself enough to let go or get support to make healthy changes. If someone is really meant for you, it will be obvious. We repeat, love does not hurt. We love you, your angels. So that is a powerful reminder. I feel like that was the, the kind of warning that we got from the angels about this week. It's a new beginning, so let it be a new beginning. Don't go back to what you know is hurtful. Make a choice to step into your power, into what you really desire, even if it means letting go. If you would like help with that and you'd like some personal guidance from your angels, you can contact me to book a private session for one hour or 30 minutes. Just visit annagracetaylor.com, the website at the bottom of this video, and we'll be able to schedule your session for you either on Zoom, Skype, or on the phone. Much love to you all, and I will see you through the week for the daily angel messages. Bye-bye.